What's up, you guys? Let's talk about studying. <laughs> I know it's not everybody's favorite subject, but it is important. So in this video, you are going to get some tips and tricks on studying while in PA school. Let's get into the video right now. so we are going to talk about studying you guys it's Sedona welcome back to my channel as I said it's not everybody's favorite subject but it is important and so for me when I was in PA school and even now as like a PA like four years post-grad um, I'm still studying I still have to study I still have to like refresh my mind and um, everything about like all of the various different subject matters that I'm seeing because I'm covering different specialties I work in different specialties so I need to know about like fistulas and I need to know about all things reproductive right for the female anatomy because I'm in OBGYN as well and so for me I knew like I wasn't like the biggest like just sit down in a classroom and like look at the board and that was that for me I had to like write it down and repeat it so when it came to my pharmacology class, as you guys saw, I did mind maps. It was easy for me to picture where the different drugs were. But with everything else, I used not only my QBanks that Rosh Review provided, but I also used um, flashcards. Now, obviously, like nowadays, there's Quizlets. It's a little bit more, um, I guess, high techy. I guess you could say because it's online. It's an online flashcard site that you can use. You can make your own Quizlets, and you can use other people's Quizlets as well. Um, I used to write it down on an index card, and I use Quizlets as well. That the students in my class would make. And now you guys have the opportunity to use those Quizlets also because the Rosh Review has created a Quizlet with flashcards in several different subjects and I'm gonna just list them out here for you um, it's over it's 200 flashcards and they have it in genital urinary renal reproductive GI and nutritional cardiovascular pulmonology um, endocrine musculoskeletal EENT neurology psych medicine ID hematology and dermatology that is a lot those are all like the subject matters that you're gonna need to know for the pants and your your boards um, so you guys are in luck because it's about that time to get started studying for your boards it is free okay so you guys just have to go and I'll leave a link for you where you would go you just have to put in a little bit of information and then they will give you the code to get into the Quizlet um, and I just wanted to show you exactly what it looks like and you know give you a little insight on what you might want to expect okay all right so we are recording now I wanted to show you maybe I should slide over to this side so you can actually see um, on this side what I'm talking about so this is the PA flashcards for reproductive obviously because you know I'm an OBPA now <laughs> so I wanted to do that one um, but like here it has 15 questions in this section alone and I listed out all of the different subjects that they have flashcards for so 200 questions in all in totality for the different subjects um, anywhere from like 10 to 20 in the the, the various different subject matter areas okay um, so for this one it's asking you what is the most likely cause of painless vaginal bleeding in the second half of pregnancy okay um, so what do you guys think it is I, so I know what it is because I deal with this all the time but it's placenta previa um, and that's what the answer is and so this is very good not only for you to kind of like just be get a refresher on before you go on your rotation because I definitely will be asking my students these questions I ask them it all the time I ask them about bleeding because that is what we see a lot and then just the reproductive system in in totality like the cycle of you know what how like the egg moves and you know ovulation and all that stuff so it's important for you guys to know this stuff not only for your boards but when you're on your rotation and then for any exams that you're gonna have so this is actually pretty beneficial what disease state is responsible for the presence of endometrial tissue outside of the endometrial cavity all right it's endometriosis we know this there it is 
answer right there. And so this is very simple, very easy. You can quickly go through these flashcards. And the beauty of flashcards, but also the beauty of a Quizlet flashcard is it's right here in the palm of your hands. So you can take this wherever you go. No more like rummaging through your bag for your, your actual index cards. You're taking this flashcard because we take our phones everywhere. So you can take this flashcard exactly where you go, this Quizlet. And if you're on the train, if you're on the bus, if you are, you know, Know, sitting in the grocery line if you're waiting for your spouse in the mall and while she's shopping and you're like just waiting for her you can be going over these quizlets um, and getting the answers and get just getting yourself familiarized with it um, I've, I've realized that with studying because I'm trying to learn Spanish right now and just in general like with PA school and stuff it's all about repetition so the more that you go over the subject matter the more that you see it uh, the more native it becomes to you so when you see the questions or you see some of these trigger words like this whole painless vaginal bleeding specifically in the second half of pregnancy you know oh placenta previa painless vaginal bleeding those things go hand in hand so just be mindful of that um, I think this is a great resource for you like I said I will leave the link in the description box for you okay go to that link put in your information and you will get access to these 200 quizlets um, and answers and questions and hopefully get yourself prepared not only for your rotation but for your boards and your exams all right check Rosh review out they have got you covered Okay, if you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and down PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.